Hello there. I'm your host, Leo Dico, and welcome to Masterpieces of Children's Literature in Less Than a Minute. Excuse me, I'm just admiring my new and very expensive Apple Watch. Unfortunately, I'm having a tough time figuring out what time it is. For now, I guess it's two freckles past a hair. So today, I'm going to talk about the novel 13 Clocks by James Thurber. This story is about a royal total jerk of a guy, a duke, who lives in a castle with his good and beautiful niece, the Princess Sarah Linda. The Duke is also a complete cheapskate who doesn't like to pay his heating bills, which is what makes his castle so cold that all 13 clocks are frozen at 10 minutes to five. Now, a bunch of different dudes want to marry the princess, but the Duke gives them all impossible tasks to finish, which they all fail miserably. Then one day, Prince Zorn shows up disguised as a musician named Zingyu. Then he meets another interesting fellow named Golux. So Golux tells Zingyu that he will help him rescue the beautiful princess, Sarah Linda. You see, the Duke wants Zingyu to bring him 1,000 jewels. No sweat, Zingyu says. He can get these from his father, but his pop's kingdom is far, far away. So. If Zingyu leaves now, he can be back in 99 days. Not so fast, says the Duke. You only have 99 hours. Also, the Duke demands that Zingyu unfreezes all 13 clocks and make them strike at 5 o'clock. What the darn, says Zingyu. So Zingyu and his buddy Golux visit a woman named Haga who has the ability to weep jewels. Gosh knows what happens when she has to blow her nose. Anywho, Haga has lost the ability to weep these jewels because she has cried so much. Now, Zingyu and Golix make her laugh tears of joy, but these are essentially worthless. They become so bummed out over this that Haga begins to cry and starts bawling out jewels again. These two guys get their 1,000 precious stones. Now, Zingyu and Golix head back to the castle of the evil duke, but he has thrown them a curveball. You see, Sarah Linda is not actually his niece, and he kidnapped her when she was a little girl. See, I told you he was a total jerk. Lots more stuff happens, so if you want to know more about 13 Clocks by James Thurber, I suggest you read it yourself. You'll be glad you did. I'm Leo D. Cook, and I'll see you next time on Masterpieces of children's literature in less than a minute.